Hello, what's up, guys? Welcome to the Jetty Jet Show. I'm Jetty Jet. We're live. We're live. What's up, you guys? Turn this double play on. Hey, what's up, Smoke? Smoke O2, Kaylee Co. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the show. Oh, all right. So today we're gonna be we're gonna be inking. We're gonna be inking Sam Saran from Metroid. Metroid Dread. Hey, Tan Tai. Hi, Gypsy Queen. Welcome. Been a long time. Been a long time. Been a long MIA. Hiatus. Hisashiburi desu ne. Um. So I'm just drawing this uh, this uh, Samus here, getting ready for a convention. I'm trying to uh, trying to do a dread, trying to do a dread drawing real quick. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I got the uh, sketch done last night. Um, I beat my head over the wall for this one because I initially had this sketch. Um, this was done like a year or two ago, maybe a year ago, and um, I wasn't happy with it. I mean, I I was happy with it. I was happy with it. I'd show people at the convention, but like, because people would ask, "Do you have any Samus?" I'm like, "I have this sketch, but it's not finished." And I said, "I'll just go home and finish it. It's gonna be quick. Bow, bow, boom, done. And I'll have a, I'll have a, a Samus sketch done for a show." But the more I sat and looked at it, I was like, "Man, I'm, I'm just not happy with the composition. It's just, it's just weird. Um, it just, it just feels really flat." I mean, it, it, I think it's cool, but I think the focus, the composition doesn't work because the focus of the armor and then and then uh, Samus, um, the suit, it, it, they're like competing. It's like it's hiding in the back, so I had to figure out a way to push it back and whatnot. And then lastly, Dread just came out, and then I didn't even know about it until somebody showed me the uh, the poster. Or they were just talking about it with me and then they started showing me on their phone i was like holy crap they have a new metroid game really that's crazy so now i'm like i can't just i can't just go with this armor maybe i can just like flub it and like do something with the uh, armor and just like tint it to make it look like the dread armor and then paint over that and i was like no i just can't do it i just i just feel i feel crappy it feels crappy it feels it feels like feels like pulling teeth trying to figure out how am I gonna finish this thing so I was like you know what let's just let's just start all over <laughs> hey what's up jo Joe Din Art thank you thank you so it's been a while um been gone from YouTube and I know I keep saying I'll be back sooner but I'm terrible um so anyways um, the plan is to ink this I haven't inked a drawing in a very long, long time, so this is going to be kind of fun. Um, normally, normally, normally the process, um, I would just um, paint, paint directly uh, underneath these lines and then over these lines, because the information is all there. It's all there. You don't need, you don't need to do any more cleanups. Um, but a part of me is like, you know what, this is like a, the 90s feel. I played I played Metroid like once when I was a little kid. I was like six, six, seven, and eight, and we were playing it on Nintendo. That was it. Growing up, I just seen how iconic it was, and I knew like, you know, the theme, the story, um, but never really played anymore after that. Um, but anyways, let's, uh, let's get started before it's, you know, takes too long to... I'm just gonna sit here chill with you guys. Can you hear? Can you guys hear music? I mean, no music's okay. Thank you, Smoko too. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, another reason why I don't really like to stream too much, especially. Um, well, it's because, especially when I'm like hitting a deadline, like I'm trying to finish this fast. I'm trying to finish this for um. Anime weekend, Atlanta, Georgia. I'm going there. I'm going to Atlanta. How many people are you guys in Atlanta? How many of you guys from Atlanta? Turn up. Let's go. You guys from Atlanta? Oh, and I'm recording this. 
I'm also recording this. I'm also recording this. Uh, screen capture while I'm streaming. And also I have the monitor on OBS. And this is a iMac iMac um, 2017, I believe. Yeah. So it's not that strong. Max, look, listen. Apple, Apple soft, Apple operating system is very pretty, very pretty, very seamless. Uh, but the performance is doo doo. Unless you like spin an arm and a leg. And I don't want to give up my arms and legs. Hey, what's up, Joe? Joe, he's from Australia. Music's fine, thank you. Yeah, yeah. So I've been at MIA. I've also been doing a lot of conventions lately. Um, we're back. We're back doing the shows. It's enough. Enough. Should I should I scale it up even more of this? Is this enough? You see how the pixels are showing? You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Boop, 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 boop. You know what? We'll duplicate this. Let's duplicate this up. Scale it up. Uh oh. So we'll take this folder, paste it. Now we got a duplicate, and then we can scale this up. And I'm just gonna ink, you know? It's 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 tedious and it's a bit for me a bit more lazy when I'm inking now. I find it a lot more challenging and fun to like paint and find the forms. Um, on rough lines but when you sit back and just you know like chill and not really think too much you just that's what inking is to me now so I never really do it, it it's kind of a quick way of finishing a drawing um, but that's not to say it isn't an amazing approach um, technique because there are some inkers that just take it to that next level. You know, it doesn't matter what the process you use is how you 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 know you know the rest of the part. You know how it goes. So let's see how I can try to make this a little interesting. I'm gonna try to capture like a a nineties a nineties anime feel. Okay, okay. Like it's a like it's a two D animated film. All right, okay, because I feel a part of me always goes back to this one, especially this composition. It goes back to um, some of my favorite artists from the 90s. And that's what I'm trying to capture. Trying to capture that, you know what I'm saying? Just like, it's like that. It's like, what? It's like that. You know, don't don't think about it too much. You know, it's overcomplicating things. That's that's me. That's me. That's what I do. You can call me OC. OC what? OC. OC for overcomplicating things. Like a doo doo head. That's an eyeball. That's an eyeball. You know, stop thinking of the whole picture. Sometimes it's okay to not get a whole. The whole like floor plan, the whole entire scheme of things, the whole bird's eye view. Sometimes it's okay to get tunnel vision and just narrow your brain and just focus on the little parts. You know? And then worry about the greater scheme later when you got enough information down to think about all that other stuff. Uh, so. Is that my dog or is that the is that the music's dog? I could have sworn that was the music's dog, you know. Um it's supposed to be like lo-fi. No copyright. And you guys know us. I love to listen to music when I'm drawing. So that's another reason I, I don't like to stream too much. Cause I'm like 
always collecting music and listening to music. And if I stream, I can't listen to that music. I mean, I have a problem. I have, I'm a music file. If that's a word. Audio file. No. I just, I'm just, I'm just obsessed with music. Like every month, I'll get about 500 different songs. Collect them. Okay. I'll collect them any way I can. YouTube, download them, buy them. And then I'll go through them and I'll have to go and just turn up on this. And I have to um, score them. I score them. Yes, I score. I rank my music. That's right. I rank music top to bottom every single one. 500 songs average. You think I'm playing, huh? You think I'm playing? Should I show you guys? No, I gotta show you guys. That's stupid. Don't be a dummy. Don't be a dummy. Um, just gotta take my word for it. That's what I do. I do that. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessive that way for sure. The way I am with my drawings and over like critical with things in my drawing seems to translate in a lot of other aspects of my life. And so when I start like a, a pattern or a ritual of doing, not, not like, not like, not like cleaning stuff, like wiping things down a billion times, but like if I collect something, like if it's pictures or music, I just got to have them all, you know, so it's better that I don't start. Don't start. Like if I find a new artist, I'm like, holy good. I got to go find all of his, her album. I don't care if it's from Sweden, <laughs> Malaysian, Indian, Chinese. I fall in love with music. It's all. You know what I'm saying. And then I go through them, and I and I have to rank them. Why? Because if I have too much music, I need to know what I, I want to listen to again. So my criteria for for what what what's good and not is very low. So I have a lot of music, but I don't listen to all of it, right? So I just want to know what's good. So I'll have to give it a four star if I don't want to hear it anymore. It like almost made the cut, but it didn't. So it's four stars. And then if it's good enough to listen to, then it's a five star. Simple. And then I'll just play with the ranking um, uh, scoring uh, from there. So if it's like crap or offensive like i'm just like like mind-numbingly dumb kind of music you know like what which is rare it's one or two stars four just means like oh it almost made the cut oh i can tell they were trying i can tell you know it's hard it's it i don't want to be mean it's not like it's not like a bad song or anything um i'm one of those people that listens what's up yev hey yeah i used to listen to the same band over and 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 over until one of my singer friends was like, hey man, you listen to the same song too much. She said, you you tend to, you listen to the same song a lot, don't you? And I was like, you know, kind of just, um, nothing, nothing malicious about it, nothing. No, just like, that's just what he observed. And it's true. I was, I'd listen to the same song thousands of times, you know? It would be my favorite song. It'd be like, it's like the early 2000s when we had CDs still in the car, and I'd be like, "It's my track, man. These my these my tracks. That's all I had." Um, we didn't have the internet then, so we did, but it wasn't you know like we had like stupid ways of downloading music and stuff. But anyways, I reflect. I self reflected, and then I'd visit his house, and he's he's a, he's a, he's a musician, like a straight up musician one of the one of the best singers i've ever heard and he was in high school during that time and and so i'd go to his house you know and see his collection of music and then he has like he's always updating his music and he had so much so much music and i was like wow how are you doing this he's like you know he was korean so he's like i just i just downloaded from korean sites and i'm like we didn't have that kind of stuff back in the day they were always ahead so I was just like, incredible. From then on, I just like became a little more like self-conscious of. We talking about music. So 
subconscious of just like listening to the same song over and over so like i don't like to play the same song over and over because i don't want to bore if it's a really good song especially i don't want to like um i don't want to i don't want to overplay it and get bored of it like i fell in love with it and i don't want to fall out of love with it it takes a while right so if it, if it plays too much then you get bored of it so what i end up doing is i'll let it play randomly i cannot put it back on um repeat or anything like that cannot cannot let it play naturally and then it feel like the radio you know, it's just like you have this long list of songs and then when it comes up it's like hey that's that song i've only heard like three times wow. what a good song that's a good song um i feel like my inking right now is, sorry for the whistle inking game is doo-doo i don't ink drawings like you know just doing what I do just trying to just kind of do what I do no real technique to it I just do it you know no proper exercises no proper training you just look at it and go hmm that's a ball uh, any tips on how to draw a tattoo? Yeah, of course. Of course. Because that's what I do every single day. I draw tattoos. Just kidding, man. That's that's a whole nother monster. I'm scared of that. I'm scared of getting a tattoo. I love tattoos. I love them. I love seeing them. I love admiring them. But I'm too much of a B to get my own tattoo. If I were to though, if I were to in another life, I'd get like one of those Yakuza tattoos. Sleeves right across my arm, up to my neck maybe. Woo! Um, I think they practice on like pig skin, don't they? So this music is not copyrighted to no copyright music free music you know but it's my flavor i like to lift let's wake up to lo-fi kind of music because it matches my energy when in the, when you're in the morning you're just like ah i don't want to get up the sun it's just painful i don't want it so you put on something that matches your energy right that crappy feeling and that low lo-fi like low energy feeling and it's like we can coast we can coast on this we can just just coast on this for a little bit and just, just wake up nice and easy yeah hey what's up Micah welcome welcome like you make it Micah clean it out Clean art 101. Ooh, clean art. See, I need your help. Ooh, you know what? You know what? You know. I'm being a doo-doo right now. I'm being a doo-doo. Time to get itchy. Let's create another layer. Let's do uh let's do uh, uh by the way, follow uh follow Clip Studio Clip Studio um paints uh, official YouTube page. I'm doing a series with them. Um, Where's that at? Where's it? This one. They changed all the icons. Everything looks different now. Okay. So I'm gonna use vector, vec vector lines. They look different. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. They're not. They're not true vector lines. I don't think. But they behave just like vector lines. And I, when I say they're not true, they, I mean when you save out and stuff. I don't think you make an actual like vector file. But inside the. Uh, program it does act like a, a vector if you guys know anything about vector it's a weird weird world um 
Very weird. Very weird. <laughs> Very weird. Hi, hi, Smoko. I'm getting a spinny wheel. Am I, am I like not streaming anywhere? Hey, let me know if I'm still alive. I got a spinny wheel. Muscles, muscles. One of the one of the one of the bad things about painting or digital drawing is um, the undo button. The undo button is a blessing and a curse. It will make you dependent, and for people who are like OCD and critical you spend days just un undoing and then you have to like go through your whole life trying to figure out how to be okay with yourself well because it is undo but um yeah hey i'm sorry it was an emote it was an emote it was an emote you did that you do do it Confuse me. You're gonna confuse me right now. Right now, right here. Got mm. mid, doesn't it? <sighs> See, if I were just happy with that ink, I'd be happy with my lines. And they're actually inking in real life. Then there's no undos. You have to use. Uh, you have to use. Uh, you have to use whiteout. <laughs> and the consequences is much higher so your brain goes oh we better not mess up because this is permanent I mean semi-permanent permanente Kaiser permanente <laughs> this line is not nice it's ugly let's just do this here Hi, get that nice curve. Swing it in, swing it out. See what I mean? That's this, this, all this disorientation. See, it's all bugging me. It's not, it's not perfectly round, but that's fine. That's fine. I think if. if when everything isn't in perfect like arcs and stuff it lends itself to the drawing and it looks more organic and intentional and pretty and alive i tried an exercise where i couldn't erase and i was just sitting there erasing it doesn't work it doesn't work for me yep haha <laughs> oops <laughs> oh my god, you guys are just trolling me now. That's how that's what we're doing now. Alright. Okay. So I'll just do this for a little bit longer. See how how it goes. You know, I'm not trying to make this a finished thing online. But if it happens to turn out that way, I can't I can't call I can't. Can't stop it, you know. Maybe uh, the line. So inking, yeah, inking kind of allows me to just kind of take it easy, a little easier, a little bit, a little bit easier. Not too easy. Not like painting. Painting, I mean, I have a process, so it's not that bad, but. It just feels that way. You say inking just feels much more streamlined. Part of me says you should have used thicker lines. Huh. But you know what? It's fine. There's that line thinking feature. Let's just draw her nude first. Just make it easier. 
on the brain. Yeah. I went really, really thin with these lines, by the way. If you, if you, if you notice, that'll also help me make it look a little more um, painterly if I decide to do that. Flat looking like a 2D animated film. Alright. Okay. I've seen a lot a lot of very painterly styles for Samus in my exploration. Hey, what's up, Dad? You draw while you're at conventions? That'd be cool to see. Uh, I try a couple times, but it's a little a little a little difficult. Depending on, on just how busy that show is. Um, I've had a request to do like live demos, but again, it's hard to leave the booth when I'm trying to like meet people, talk to you guys, and then on top of that, I'm just tired. Man, I'm just tired. Oh, and also, and also, okay, look, I got, sh I got protein shake. Do one finger push-ups. Yeah, so I'm I'm doing an exercise uh, routine every day since we last spoke. Protein shake. My body's still a little shaky. I got many I got many excuses to t to give you. Okay, my body's a little shaky still, so it's hard to control the pen. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. And if you guys know me personally, I, I have a disability. I have like nerve, neurological, nerve like damage to my legs and like uh, in like my, my, in my hands. Um, and it's hereditary. So it's, it's like as I aged, my, my nerves began to deteriorate and, and just, and just and die off basically and um it doesn't affect like my life i'm, I'm gonna survive like like i'm not i'm not gonna get any worse like i can still walk and stuff i just i'm just really clumsy and i can't run things like that but other than that i'm, I'm a-okay and and so i are i just exercised i have the condition okay Oh no, the feet's out of the picture. Ah. And so these are just these are just some 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 things to keep in mind when you're looking at me sketch. Okay, it does affect me a little bit. Okay. Let's shrink it a bit. Shrink it will give a slightly slightly thicker line. Not noticeable though. On this scale, anyway. Hell yeah, good job, Zaya Draw, man. And after I finish watching season three, when will you update? When will you update your web comic? Who are you talking to? You? <laughs> Hi, Jet. What had you learned through your journey? Man, I learned nothing. I learned. Let's talk about that. You want to talk about that? <laughs> That's like such a loaded broad question life man life life I learned that success has the tendency for me anyway to Create complacency. So when I'm doing well, I take it easy. <laughs> but when I'm hungry, I'm working my ass off like crazy. Man. Um, what else I learned? Learned um, hmm. I learned that art school is actually very helpful. Everyone should go to art school. Everyone. Everyone. 
number one. <laughs> Everyone who understands a little bit about accountability anyway. Okay. I used to really, really go against art school. And so I'm like half, half serious, half, half joking because it's expensive. Um, but for me, my personality anyway, it, it helped. For, uh, for a lot of other people, it might not. Um, the three biggest... Um, benefits to our school is accountability because you have you, you have assigned homeworks and you get, you get graded. Accountability, competition, and then costs. So... The cost is super expensive. You have to pay it back. So you have to make it work. You don't want to like end up not doing it for me. You know, the stakes are so high. Steaks, steaks, yeah. Steak, mm, steak. Steak has zinc, good for body recovery. Eat steak, eat steak. I'm gonna turn my music down a little bit. Hardest thing for you to draw. What's the hardest thing? Backgrounds? I don't draw backgrounds. I don't do backgrounds. I mean, I I can. It's just boring, tiring, you know, all these things. I don't, I don't do it. I don't do it. I don't do it. Don't do it. Um, compositions? Compositions? That's hard. So it's more 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 theoretical type of things. Theory type of things, you know. I don't like I don't like to think too much. I like to think, but I don't like to think too much. Too much thinking it hurts. Uh what's the hardest thing? Uh, I've been struggling with trying to go to art school for you saying that it's is making me realize I might need to zero zero. I might need to. Zero zero? Like oh like like glasses? Like ooh, but put put the glasses on? What's a zero zero? Yeah, so Look, when if you're okay with with a lot of debt at the end of the day and making payments for the next twenty years, and also um, the likelihood of not being able to find any work at all, then do it, do it, man. Um, but if you really want to hone your skills, yeah. I mean, I always, I always, I always, I always recommend going to like doing like um, skills courses, any skill course where you can customize and pick it. Art school kind of like you, you're signed up for not just art. That's the problem is you have to do everything else unrelated to art. And I'm going to just brush it a little too fat. Your fingers are too fat. Yeah, competition. When you know, when you're when you're setting us in a in an environment where everyone's doing art and you're just like competing with them, you want to make sure yours is the best all the time. You're bringing the best, you know, because you're competing. You're not just competing with the students. You're competing with the teacher. That's one of the biggest best advice I ever heard from my teachers. So like, um, the first year and a half to probably to, to two years is the most valuable everything else you can go without it it's the fundamentals everything you learn in the beginning once you learn the basic structures of anatomy once you learn how to render an object like this is a ball this is a shadow this is a light here this is there's a reflected light and there's a core shadow and all that stuff how to render you know what i mean um then everything is just like fair game it's just free reign you just you just use what you learn and just just ex, ex, expound expel ex, ex, extrapolate from there you just keep going and then you use models like your favorite artists and stuff as your your guides don't expect them to teach you how to do things just expect to learn or see what others are doing i think that's what the, the big benefit of it was it's like teachers weren't teaching how it, like these are students of previous students these are examples of professionals now you do it you know how to render don't you do it today we're going to be doing cabins 
these are pictures of cabins. These are how you collect pictures for cabin, pa cabins. And and these are different themes for cabins. Now you go home and make a cabin and make a story based off of that cabin. And what's the theme of that cabin? It's not like, hey, this is how you lay down each board. This is how you do this and that, you know? That's, that's in perspective class. When you learn perspective, then you learn the fundamentals of it and then you apply that to your later classes where you're producing things. That's why I say the first couple years is the most valuable. Uh, and what I was going to say was, oh, great, 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 great. One of the most important uh, lines, phrases, quotes that I ever heard was from uh, David Chun Li, one of my very first teachers, my first semester. He said, the students aren't your competition. I'm your competition. You're fighting for the same job as I am as an illustrator. And it just like hit me in the head like what i'm a student like no this is an art world they're they're looking for work too they might be teaching but they're still you know they're still they're still getting work and you're not like a direct competition obviously but in the art you know in the greater scheme of things you are competing for for jobs in the, in the art in the art scene so when you when you look at it you are technically competing for it because you want to you want to be just as good as a teacher if not better right and the teacher's like he's our reach super saiyan level you know he understands how to render things and make them look like real life you still draw like doo-doo you still draw like a fourth grader not that fourth graders are bad at drawing just saying you're still pretty bad you just came out of like kindergarten and now you want me to draw like fine arts illustrator, artist, concept artist. What? Huh? What? That didn't give me sense. Hey, glad to see you stream, Jay. Hey, Enzo, 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 my man Enzo. Good to see you, man. Guys, yeah, so go check out Enzo's art. Incredible artist. Incredible, incredible. I seen your comment. I seen everyone's comments on the uh, Akuma that I did. The problem is, once I see it, I'm running away. I'm running. You can't catch me. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm just like, man, I, I want to respond to everything, but I just keep putting it off. I just want to thank you guys for checking out my art and um, supporting me, following me. And all, even, you know, even when I'm like, I'm like, when I'm gone, I've been, when I turn off my social, I don't, I don't like to look at it because everyone's being productive. Some people are like constantly productive. So I run away. I'm over there. I go pee in the corner. I like pee pee. I pee pee my pants because I'm scared. I can't deal with it. It makes me feel crappy. If other people are working and I'm and I'm just looking at people work, it's not motivating. It's more it's more what's the word? It's like it's like they're all reminding me like what what are you doing with your time dude what are you doing why are you just sitting here you know and I just and then the easy way out is just like turn it off roll over <laughs> go sleep go sleep go sleep just go sleep that's what I want to do it's the easiest thing to do but then Enzo over here commenting being a true one um So if I'm like slightly active, I just finished a drawing. I just finished, I just finished an old, old drawing. Um, very old drawing of Akuma. You know, the plan was, hey, take some of the old drawings and, and complete them. That was the plan for this one. So I finished Akuma. He was a background character for, um, for the, the original piece, which is a full character, full character comp, comps. Uh, okay. So how do you ink jet? You just, you look at it and you go, okay, look, you've done it before. You can do it again. That's all it is. 
That's all it is. You're recreating lines, not tracing lines. Okay, look that that one. Okay, let's just do a new one. Yeah, that's the mindset. Okay, because if you're trying to hit that same exact line, chances are you will not make it. Especially with my 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 many conditions that I have. I explained it to you. It's gonna be tricky. It's gonna be difficult. But if you look at it as a new piece of art and you're just using the lines as a guide or the inner drawing as a guide, then you know what? It's okay to do something different. Do something different. Who said you have to be exactly the same? Duh. Dummy, you knew this. <laughs> Talk about it in every single Patreon video. By the way, subscribe subscribe to my Patreon, even though I'm not gonna be doing Patreon for <laughs> for like a couple couple months. <laughs> Sad. I'm terrible. How are you gonna do it? How are you gonna make a Patreon and not make Patreons? Oh my god. Oh my god. Say I draw smoke things. I have your link print on my wall and I've Ah! Uh, oh, Gator though. Get her the link. Who me? We're talking about Enzo? Oh man, thanks for the shout out. You can't run you can't run forever. We're too fast boy. <laughs> I'm gonna run and keep running, keep running. Just tears, wipe away tears falling from my eyes. I'm running, the city lights are too bright. And just keep going. Don't turn back. <laughs> well, I'm here. I'm here because I have an obligation. I'm like, you know what? I have. I have to. I have to do something. I'm inking. There's no excuses. Why not just do it live? We'll do it live. Do it live, and so I did it live. Yeah, so there. Shit, that's ugly. Let's just let's just do it again. If I keep okay, let's start over. One, two, two, two. Okay, one. See, this is the problem with lines, right? This is the problem with lines. You know, you may think it's easy, uh, tedious or easy or faster than painting, but this is where it starts to eat into your time because you're not. See, painting, you kind of, you, you're allowed to push things around, but lines, you're just doing this back and forth thing, thing I think. Okay. And they're ugly too, by the way. Um, I'm gonna teach you a little, little bit, a little bit of psychology that I, I developed. This is my own theories. Okay, this is the Jetty Jet School of Thought, Art. Okay, branded. Right, go tell kids in the future. Just preach it. Tell them you got it from the Jetty Jet Show. Um, is original thought. No one's ever thought of it ever. Uh. And that is line and form. Line and form. There's two. There's two worlds. Line and form. Painting versus drafting or sketching, inking. There's two worlds, and they both collide in the middle, eventually. But we'll get to that. So there are people. There are artists who love to. They swear by it, and they just ink. That's all they do. Amazing ink. Graphic artists, um, comic artists, manga artists. I think about the essence of line line what is it line is um it's an abstract uh form of form it's the it's the barrier it's the it's the contour of the edge of a if of a form that's what line essentially is and what's form form subsequently subsequently creates line as a byproduct when you draw a form say I draw a form using a shape what 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 is created um, around it is line oh shit I don't know what line what size line am I ah. what size line was I on guys what line was that was that was that this line man that's okay we'll just figure it out so they're one and the same, but they're they're not, right? One one's one's dependent on the other, and one creates the other. So line, I can do this, but it doesn't really make form unless you like go way in there. Then there's a form, right? 
So a hair, hair strand technically is, is two lines. There's two edges. One, two. But you're not... Okay, that's too thick. So when you're when you're doing line and you're you're trying to like hair especially hair hair is where hair is where this theory really plays a part a role and what I'm trying to say is that when I'm when I'm sketching over or inking over lines for hair I'm finding the edges and the boundaries of each edge to hit those lines and for the rough draft it came out okay so so far I mean it's okay but as you can see, these ones don't have any lines because I went in there with with uh, form, thicker shapes, and and ideally it's easier to do hair with forms. So using a fatter brush, that's what I'm saying. And you just go in there and you like, where's it? Let's just use this brush here. I'm like, oh, that's a form. That's a form. That's a form. You know, that's that's. This is a. These are these are ugly lines, but like that, or like like this like see these are f I'm drawing long long shape or big shapes and subsequently creating those um, the edges around it without having to draw the lines and so it leaves it makes the lines more organic because you're not you're not in charge of drawing the lines you're in charge of drawing the form the lines come as a byproduct so that that gives it that nice organic shape um oh shoot that that's probably why the lines are jittery it's on a vector form and you're not supposed to paint on there let's see let's see yeah that's much better so this is not a vector line a vector um layer you see i'm creating hair boom 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 now imagine having to go in there and do this instead i'm drawing if i were to draw hair and do that okay hair comes out here and hair comes back here then hair comes over here and here you're doing like you're doing like one arc to the point to the end the other side that's three points of information that your brain has to compute it's doing a lot of computational stuff in that production so trying to maintain a organic flow while doing all that stuff is complicated it only looks nice now because i'm tracing over the forms that i did but imagine i were to do lines like this for like a for like a hairstyle or something see this line here that looks that looks wonky that looks dumb there's there's intersections there it does it just doesn't feel right um i mean it's not it's not bad it's not bad and matter of fact i actually sketched samus's hair using a line technique this is gonna go on we're gonna have to write an essay on this, this topic so both both parties you know they swear by it but there's no right or wrong way and and i think in the end if you fight hard enough you will eventually meet in the middle and reap the benefits of both worlds as a sketch artist I, I started off as an animator I wanted to animate and I began learning painting later and I discovered a lot by doing flats and 2d stuff you know flat 2d anime type art and later um, including more rendering techniques that I learned in painting um, but if it wouldn't be for the lines, I wouldn't have to, I wouldn't be able to understand structure, the underlying structure, lying. Why is, why are these lines so faded? Did I erase out of it? This is, this is a sad part. I got parts of the drawing in vector and then parts of it in, in, um, in doo doo. So what I'm trying to say is, both worlds collide because there are people who, who swear by by painting. They're like, no, lines is for losers. I paint. I'm realism. I'm good. A, a pitfall that that tends to happen for painters is that they have they lack under drawing, under drawing movement. Um, not all, obviously. Um, they lack the uh, movement and understanding of actual form, so things can look can tend to look kind of stiff because they might fall into just trying to make things pretty by light and shadow and rendering, like the 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 fact that it's realistic and has some form. It's 
that's supposed to make it for all the stuff underneath. And lines, line artists tend to make things look flat if they don't understand form. Um, in the same way, but there's movement. And if you work at it from from both from either ends of the spectrum, you start to incorporate both worlds. Then you start to really get good at the to make things look right or appealing or you know I'm saying you know what I'm saying I lost it the music ended so I lost it hey I admire that for line artists because when I'm starting a drawing they always look like crap and I feel like I'm a fraud <laughs> I know what you mean I know what you mean yeah some line arts are insane the music didn't end what the heck just no sound that all this connection yeah there are some line artists just like amazing they're able to do a line directly and it's incredible um but i think structure is king understanding the underlying structure it's like you can apply that to both worlds you need to understand basic principles fundamentals and not skip ahead and try to um, fake fake is that the word try to fake things fake <laughs> I don't know that hand might be kind of weird I don't know whatever man you know, and that's 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 the nice thing about a lot of two D two D artists. That's not where the bone is. That's the bone. So the palm is way too big. But it's all right. Based off my rough sketch. Yeah. That's the nice thing about two, uh, a lot of nineties artists. They have the internet back day back. They didn't have the internet back in the day, and also everything was done by hand. So they would sketch things and a lot of things would be broken, but it would it would turn into like some like quirky style thing that they would do and they would they would keep it with them. The, the bad part about it is that it becomes a problem at the same time because they all, they never understood what was broken with it. Um, sometimes it works to their favor, sometimes it doesn't. It's all, it's all, it's all, it's all relative. It all depends on who's looking at it, who's enjoying it, you know, and that, and yeah, that, that's what really matters. No matter how anyone else, what anyone else thinks, unless if, if somebody else finds it entertaining and you're happy with it and you're succeeding uh, are you adding Mona to your gum road oh, Felipe. Felipe, Felipe. Felipe I'm gonna get to it Felipe how many times I gotta tell you Felipe I thought we already talked about this <laughs> yes 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 thanks for reminding me since conventions um, picked up again, I'm just like becoming a slacker. Oh, good gosh. Oh. Now these eyebrows are on the other layer. I'll just do this for the eyebrows. Um, but yeah, I want, yeah, I, I need to, I need to. Thanks for, thanks for reminding me. I gotta do that. I need to put them on gum road because everything that I do should be available to patrons at a discount on a later date, as I promised. I just gotta come around to doing it. Just a little bit longer, thanks. Arigato, arigato. Arigato gozaimasu. There is a certain charm in, the, the ink, in, in these rough lines, you know? I like that. And need the drink and doing these lines tends to make it a little stale it 
tends to make it a little, a little sad. Oh, everything. everything. Don't tell me I have to do everything again. I want to put more. I want to put more. I want to. I want to put more shi shiny, shi shinies, sparklies into her eyes. I keep having to go back to my original layer because I drew it on a regular layer. You might be wondering, what are you doing wasting so much time? Why don't you just stick to one layer? Oh, I'll show you. I'll show you. All right, let's do it. Let's erase her using the vector line. That's why, see? That's why. That's why, my friends. Man, lifesaver for ink artists. I used to do this a lot when I was working on some indie manga artists. Oh, that doesn't intersect. See, that doesn't intersect another vector, so therefore it will not do its thing. One does, but one doesn't, and one isn't on. So um, after I get out of that hair, it'll be like more friendly. I mean, the face area. Yeah, see, the, if it if it only see if it only interacted with it, then we'd be clean. But no. So yeah. So the lines that are not vector are not interacting with each other. Therefore, it won't have that um, er vector erase clipping thing that I so desire. So like, okay, I think for good from there, kinda, yeah. I know this isn't, well, eyebrows, eyebrows can have the intersection in our over, Overlapping. It's fine. It's parts of the ha hair can be overlapping as well. That's good. That's good. Wait, you gotta figure out what's overlapping what. What? I just should have just started everything with a vector line. <laughs> Cause it really, it really helps, especially with the hair. I mean, the body's not so much cause nothing's overlapping that much. Um, hmm. Ah, we can do it here. <laughs> we can do it here. Yeah. Let's utilize technology. the sake of utilizing what well, let's draw a new line let's draw a new line the old one doesn't exist the new one is all that matters okay so yeah So yeah, um, the nerve disability I have is a real thing, and it it makes drawing like f like traditional like drawing on actual paper difficult. Um, the benefit of or the good thing about digital drawing is that I can turn up the pressure pressure sensitivity, so I'm not really using any muscle when I'm pressing. I'm just barely grazing the screen, you know. Um, and it allows me to just create 
the same amount amount of depth as I would on a regular. Let's intersect it. Why not? Let's draw through it. And then let's go back over here and take it out with a single click. Oh yeah. Uh, wouldn't it be more efficient to start painting at this stage? Mmm, Link. Why must you be the pain in my neck? My shoulder, my scapula, my collarbone. You causing the pain in my collarbone. Wouldn't it be more efficient to start painting at this stage? Just depends on your preference. I think if what, <laughs> that's literally what, any sketch, this is literally what this whole entire stream is about. Why am I, why am I doing uh, inking? versus a uh, straight on painting which is what i normally have like out of 50 drawings i'll just do this once oh i need reference for that gun i don't know the gun i want to go dig up my guns uh-huh yeah so this stream's about this idea of um The style. I wanted to capture more of a 2D style. So, I'm inking today. This not this hand not good. This hand needs work. That sketch is not it's not helping me. Knuckles, knuckles, knuckles. Yeah. Best thing to do is actually come back back down here. Just draw it in. Okay, so if this is the gun, right? Knuckle here. And it's the main knuckle. sketch is a fake until it's linked based on a reference any sketch is a fake until it's, it is linked based on a reference of something else that's what makes a good fan art mm. Mm. I'm not sure what, I understand what that means <laughs> she like threw me in there for a loop I was like hmm what these sketches are fake. And this oh. that part, that part right there alone, is just kind of confusing. I don't, I don't know if I agree with that. I'm sorry. Can't say. ghost of a hand and just try to fill in the gaps and after I get inspired by what the structures are just fake it until I make it you know good enough good enough and I believe this would be the knuckle here so That's knuckle. These aren't. These are just straight over across. That's because this one comes out and becomes curved. Oh, 
Any sketches of fake. I'm just gonna keep reading that same line. Any sketches of fake. You know what I'm saying? Any sketch is a fake. If I ever seen a sketch, it's a fake. Whenever I sketch, it's fake. Um, let's see. The, the 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 second part was that's what makes good fan art. Unless until it's link, I think fake is not the right word you're trying to say. Unless it's linked based on reference or something else, that's what makes good fan art. Well, I, I think what good fan art is when you actually hit a nostalgic point of reference. That's one of the most key ingredients of good fan art is when you're not really just doing fan art, it's it's a tribute, you know, you're tributing it. That's what I call tribute. I don't just look at fan art as fan art. I like it to reach a point where it, it, it hits the chords of nostalgia and you, you pick out a point um, from the story that spoke to you and recreate it in a way that somebody else can relate and feel the same exact thing. Um, or they can kind of get the idea of what you're trying to say. And it's all it's all unspoken. And, and when you can do that, when you can convey that message, then it's like, oh, that's nice. I, I like that. So in that in that sense, I call it tribute. And then when you do tribute, it's a, a lot more um, time, painstaking than in just like quick little thing, you know. Uh, and nothing wrong with fan art. I do a lot of quick fan art too. You know, two seconds done. That's fan art. But when something means a little bit more to me, then I'll spend like 50 hours on it. And that's tribute. We call that tribute. Jack Black, man. Jack Black, man. <laughs> oh. I got that from a, a another comedian who who uh, did an impression of Jack Black. So that was a comedian doing an impression of Jack Black. Right, you just said it. Tribute that makes total sense. Uh, thanks, thanks, bro. You know, uh, I think about this a lot, so I know it's uh, the wording was kind of clunky, but I kind of I kind of got what you're trying to say. I was that's why I tried to dig it out of you. I'm not trying to like poke fun at you. I always try to understand what you guys are saying. So if you have like if you want to try to reword it too, then that's that's fine and dandy, and then we'll work. We'll get there together. Learn. We'll just learn together. How long has it been going? Uh, I started. Um, is that twenty minutes? No, I can't. Wait, average watch. How long? How long is this? Eight forty, huh? Dang, dang. See, and this is taking so long. I would probably be like pretty, pretty close to done with this coloring if I just done colors. Okay, let's pull out the um line art I mean these reference for the gun that I have it here already I like to have just everything ready to go and look at nope I didn't I didn't so now I have to go dig it up Enzo this is not the best fan art in the world <laughs> This is not the best fan art in the world. I forgot how the song goes. <laughs> I know tributes. <laughs> He's talking about Jack Black, 
Man. Best song in the world or something. <laughs> And this gun is not helping. This rough, this rough trying of the gun is not good. No, huh? No, huh? No. -uh. And a matter of fact, it's a slight of an angle. I shouldn't have it so flat. Let's do an angle. Okay, gun goes here. Gun goes here. Oops. Um, gun goes here. Gun goes here. Gun goes here like this. Top side. Top side. Top side. Top side. Top side. Angle. Angle. Best song in the world. Best. It's not best song in the world. It's Jack Black's movie. Man, I never seen it, but it's a song. It's a famous song. You gotta learn about it. You need to learn it. Which way is it going? Which way are we going? Are we going this way or are we going that way? Try to go this way. Try to go this way. See, these lines have to line up like all over the place. Just free ball. Free ball. Free ball. Hmm. Okay, I think we should go this one. This one. This one. Okay, this one. This one. Dick. Dick one. Dick. Dick. Do this. Then we do the this one. Then we do the that one. Then we do this. Then we do the that one. Oh, so beautiful. Oh. We do that one. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Okay. Maybe we just make make up stuff. We start making up stuff, and that's when. Making stuff up, and that's when you end up shooting yourself in the foot, you see. Because it's going to end up biting you back later in the ass. Because you didn't lay down enough information. you got to listen to the Ten Tenacious D's Evangelion Mashup song. I think it's called this. This is not the greatest song in the world. It is so awesome. Oh, wow. Tenacious D did, did Evangelion? What? What? That's exciting. Oh wow. <laughs> oh, she's hand on hand on trigger, huh? We gotta take hand off trigger. We gotta take hand off trigger. Proper gun. 
Gun etiquette. Hmm. Proper gun etiquette. Again, these lines need to line up. Stop. Okay. I think that is gun. That is gun. Hmm, this is too much butt. Too much butt. Too much butt. You guys know I always say that. You guys you guys don't want to overdo the butt. You know, no. No 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 bubble butts. I don't like rubber plastic butts. You gotta make sure it's nice and proportionate with perspective. Oh no, he didn't. It's fan made, but it's glorious. Oh, so that's net. Hi, so that's net. Hi, hi, so that's net. So look, I'm doing sketching, and I'm also adding values in, and that's, and that's okay, because it still guides our lines. We're gonna use these as our guides, not the final, which is sad, because I like to paint over these rough lines it makes that nice 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 rendering feel nice whatever 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 man whatever man whatever man we're already doing it it's whatever yeah let's make sure this is even less than that so we barely see that but hide the butt Hide the butt. Hmm? Hide the butt. Hide. Hide the butt. The butt back here. Put the butt back here. Okay. Hey. That's good enough. I ain't talking Playboy because silicon parts are made for to toys. I ain't talking Playboy because. Silicon parts of labor doors. <laughs> I don't know that song. But that's Zan Zanis King says that, not me. I'm talking towards because Silicon made the fall. Ooh, line's looking good, Jitty. Thanks, thanks, Pensmith. <laughs> From Pensmith himself. Themself. Day self. Yeah, nope. We just work. We just we just we just we just out here working. We just out here cleaning. We just out here. We don't go inside. We just stay out here. You know what I mean? Especially with mechanical things, structural things, having like any like kind of wobbles in there kind of makes it look weird unless you're good at like hiding those wobbles and incorporating it throughout the drawing. Uh, like Kim Jong-gi, you know, everything looks so clean and stuff, but when you look, when you actually sit down and look at any of the lines, nothing is straight ever. It's just all wobbly as hell. It's just life to everything. And that's how he's able to do it. It's, he's okay with having these wobbly lines. It's the greater scheme of things that creates. There you go. We're going to talk about this stupid word again. Some of parts, some of some of the parts that make the whole is greater than the parts themselves. And it, it, it came out pretty okay. It came out okay. It came out okay. We try to we try to come up with that phrase last time. It's impossible. I struggled. It's greater than each individual part. Yeah, I don't think I ever got. I don't think I ever was able to find the actual phrase. 
we kind of just gave up. I had everybody just like trying to help me find the right, right way of saying it. It was just like, well, well that didn't work out. Let's do this way. Oh, what am I doing? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Has to go in here. Has to. And then the finger comes over here. Uh, at, at the beginning, you're all, I'm all zen, and I'm like, yeah, this is, gonna be nice and clean and at, at this stage I'm just like just just get it out just 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 do it it's fine it's whatever <laughs> just get it out man that's a big finger that's a big finger that one you should stream more often bro <laughs> you think so maybe I should just a good point maybe maybe I could maybe I should Maybe I should, huh? Is it knuckle going there? That, that's weird, huh? Enzo, help me, man. I don't know what's going on with this drawing. Is that right? Is it, does it overlap like that? Maybe it goes over here. Maybe it's, maybe it's too low, yeah. And then it could work. You know? Maybe that's how it works. Because the one finger goes inside there, and then the other ones wrap around the gun, and it should stop here, I guess. Yeah, so that's fine. Like that. Ish. Ish. No, no, ish. No, ish. I think this is better. Yeah. Yeah. See the plane in the inside. Plane. The middle finger should be below the trigger thingy. Middle finger. <laughs> you read my mind. See? That's why I trust you. Maybe we should just do the whole finger across like that. Like she's just like she's just not she's not trigger happy. She's just the finger out. It's not inside. No, we're not shooting right now. We're we're relaxing. See, we're just taking a break. Just ah, see, taking a break. Everything's gotta everything's gotta make sense. Everything's just gotta be. I'm gonna follow the handle three D geometry with the finger wrapping it. Yes, sensei. So let's do that. Hey, hello. Yeah, I think this is the, like the second stream I've seen of yours. I've always been inspired by your stuff. Thanks. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Arigato. Arigato. Harry cats. Harry cats though. <laughs> There'd be some Harry cats though. Yeah. See. <laughs> Thanks to Enzo, we are pushing me. Looking like a loser at first, but now we come out on top. Looking like a not loser, but a, a noob. A noob is what I meant to say. A noob. A noob. A noob. Let's try this. You know. We'll get, we'll get, we'll get there. Look, we'll get there. See, we'll get there. Palm, padding. I mean, it's really crude still. I mean, there's always this, you can just go in there and just go in there and find it and get every muscle shape correct. But hands are just, see, there's a saying. You can ask God for how to draw anatomy color, light, form, all that stuff. But when you ask him how to draw hands, he says, I cannot perform miracles. <laughs> he looks at you and says, I can give you face. I can give you pretty girls. You on your own with those hands. <laughs> Jesus won't touch that wheel. You might want to go to Twitch in the art department. Ah, I hear that so often. That's so often. Um. Okay. Better get off these hands now. This gun alone is gonna take forever, but it pays off. It pays off because if you remember, if you guys seen my launch, my launch uh, drawing, there was a gun in that, and I and I had to re re-sketch it and repaint it over like three times just understanding the forms and stuff and yeah it's better to just struggle first solve it pay off later you gotta <laughs> ask the other guy the other guy oh yeah tenacious d the greatest hands in the world. You gotta ask. You gotta sell your soul if you want. You want some hands. So. We don't want it to be too literal, though. I mean, a lot of things can be semi-suggestive, suggest, suggest, suggestive, suggested, and then go in there and make 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 it work later. <clears throat> what have I done? What have I done? pattern doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> stupid. You're so stupid. I can't draw them. Jesus is about to catch these hands. <laughs> Not Jesus, no. shapes down first and then we'll see about all that small detail <sighs> okay if this if this line goes here and then this line goes here will that work yeah 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Damn, this reference. That is when I realized I fucked up. Bad. Dimension, enough volume, enough shape, enough perimeter, enough. It has to go past it. Uh huh. Hmm. 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 I met some great artists, by the way, in uh, New York, um, and in Utah. And I want to give you guys a shout out. Amazing, 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 amazing artists. Um. There's, there was Ka Kayla and Kaylee, they were in they were in Florida, and then also New York. Uh, if I had their art handles right now, I'd give it to you guys. But they're awesome people, and Marissa, and Val Valerie is it Valerie? I'm sorry, I forgot your name. Shit, they they helped me break down my my booth. Them and all their friends. Oh my god, I was like trying to leave early because i need to catch a plane like the next morning at 3 a.m and these girls just came out and said we gonna help you. we're gonna help you. no we're gonna help we're gonna help they were my booth booth mates booth booth neighbors for the weekend they were incredible 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 but i didn't i didn't have my band my uh my drapes down so my drapes were was blocking the view the whole entire show so i couldn't really interact with them but kayla and kaylee were <laughs> hilarious people freaking awesome and then um new york there's so many people and i just wanted to say i'm sorry if you guys ever come across this this dumb stream and i didn't shout out your stuff i want to make it a habit now if like if i feel like if you see me and, I, and we, we trade art or whatever i want to share your work i just that's something i should do it's nice it feels good i'm not active socially so i should it's the least i can do and um, Bal Bal Balamar, Balamar, Bal Balamar is like an incredible artist too. And Emily, they they gave me stuff, and I took pictures. I didn't get to post it yet, and that's shame, 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 shame. Terrible person, terrible person, terrible person. But I'll come around to sharing it. Hopefully, when I get to the music, just cuts out all the time right there. I don't know why. I walk out of my van. This is crooked. All this we're getting. Um, I think we're doing too much. We're doing too much. We're doing too much with that. Let's just that and let's take this one up. And we'll just use this vector eraser for quick and easy. Anyways, I bring up Baltimore because um, I'm doing inks and I watched some ink in front of me and just like that's <laughs> that's a true ink artist He's using like a brush pen and just going crazy with hair and and line and just like oh no no hesitation. No hesitation. Everything just. And I was like mesmerized. And I was like. Puts me to shame. That's why I'm like someday. Probably never. <laughs> want to do that too. But want to. But I don't think I'll ever ever have the time to. Not with where I'm going with my work.
Um, yeah, I'm spending way too much time on this gun. I think I have the basic structures down. Yeah, that's a that's a gun. That's a gun. Is this song gonna pick back up? What man? That's the last time I'm gonna use this free music streaming channel. Oh, it goes this way. Oops, sorry for snapping my tongue so loud. Yo, I hate that. I listen to myself, I'm like, man, dude, why you smack, dude? She's loud. Have some self-awareness. Know your surroundings. <laughs> this doesn't make sense. It doesn't make 3D three-dimensional sense. It's doing like Escher stuff. Are we doing this or are we doing that? Which way are we going? I don't know. I don't know. We'll just leave it. We'll just leave it there like this. Yeah. Suggest suggestive. Okay. I this only oh steven silva's on oh that's a pokemon <laughs> shoot that's <laughs> hey you guys family that's family hey this is the only stream i ever watched in my whole life <laughs> hell yeah man she we out here this is the only stream ever in this whole entire life you watch this stream <laughs> Guys, it's fam. The bestest people in the world. Ever. In the whole wild world. Are on right now. Just FYI. They also stay out here. If there was ever an out here that we can stay at. They'd be they'd be there. Let's turn back the music. Let's turn back music on. It's an hour and thirty. Paused. Oh, paused because probably um I wasn't actively watching, and how they know this I don't know. It's a it's a, it's a three hour video. It's like, are you still there? Are you tracking my eyeballs to know that I'm not watching? Is that what you're doing? Are you tracking my earlobes to the music and how it twitches with the beats? That's the new gun holding Pokemon never <laughs> Yes. Yes, Steven. This is a Pokemon. It's a brand new one. <laughs> I'm designing a new Pokemon. <laughs> this one's called Hitmon Hitmon Gun. Hitmon Gun. <laughs> Hitmon. I'm sweaty, man. Sweaty. Just that gun got me sweaty. Really, it you got me sweaty. It happens. Ah, uh, shoot, Bookie Monsters on here with the ghost face. Ah, she. But I should wrap up this stream. I should wrap up this stream soon. I'm gonna wrap it up in like 10 minutes, you guys. So let me know if you got any questions. Hi, Mort. Hi, and what's up, Mordo? Mordo, give give some love to Mordo. Send some hearts out to Mordo. He said hi. But hearts in the chat, please, because that's what we do. That's how we do the, the stream. We we heart. We need to give hearts. Show some love. Because we're. This is a love stream. 
I mean, this is a friendly stream. This pinky's too long. Take, 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 take. No, no, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not Pokemon. It's not. Oh, what about the Yahi Aoi? Yahi Aoi. Ha ha hiaoi. Hiaoi, hiaoi. Tricky one. Tricky one. Hey, what's what's good? What's good, manager? We're gonna get some. We're gonna get some chup my nungs tonight. <laughs> you guys want to know the story about chup my nungs? I'm gonna I'm gonna share it with the world. You guys want to know what chup my nung is? I'm gonna have to ready for that chup my nung. You guys gotta get ready for the story. So, I'm Cambodian, and there's a long, long story about how donuts were made. It starts back in about 1453, somewhere around. Italy, maybe China. If you have fast forward a little bit, I'm Cambodian and the Cambodians brought the American donut. The pink box, that's from Cambodians. They there's the, they popularized that. I didn't even know that. There's a whole documentary around that. Fast forward even further. My buddy Steven likes to make up words that are not Cambodian. <laughs> he just makes noises. So he knows it's very like Cam Cambodian like oriented. So like I had like two uncles who owned it, an aunt, and growing up, donuts came like very free and very very good too, very fresh. And I, we just took it for granted because we didn't, I didn't understand the quality of the donut, the the pink box donut here in America, until I went to like Bel Air or like Rayleigh's or Safeway or any kind of American grocery store where they would sell it. It, ta it tasted like stale dry tastes like it's been baked and not like fried and i didn't know how the process worked or anything but it just didn't it wasn't crispy and fresh like i always grew up having it very very just often just like every so often family come over like hey we got you guys some donuts cool thank you it's very nice of you i was like dang and then i met my girlfriend and she's introducing me to donuts she's like oh this is my favorite place they're chinese i'm like you sure about that we go there and i start talking to cambodian to them and they're like yeah they're they're cambodian they're just they're just like descendant of Chinese families but anyways buddy right here comes out and says this is how you say donut it's chut chut manung it doesn't mean donut but he says it anyway because <laughs> if you listen to Cambodian language long enough you're like okay it's like like chatter of like chipmunk it's like ducks it's like jazz <laughs> scat so, ch chutmanungs is now our, our our term for donuts. And the funny thing is, that if you break down the sound, ch chutmanung, ch ch chutmanung, <laughs> and try to make sense of it in Cambodian or Khmer, in our language, um, chuck, chuck is actually a term in in, in in Cambodian for uncle, not chut, but chuck. And manang, ma, ma means a single. Nang is that, so single that. So we say uncle, single that. And the funny thing is on, my uncle's own donut shop. So if I were to walk up to him and I said, uncle, one of those please, it would make sense. <laughs> Chut, manang. <laughs> manang, manang is never said. A single that, I mean, that doesn't even work in English. Like, <laughs> you go to the butcher, I'll have a single that. Like, <laughs> one of those. <laughs> A single that, uh, a single that, a single of those. Yeah, a single of those. Doesn't make sense, but yeah. Um, technically, it means uncle single that. And it's not really a Cambodian word either. Uh, Chuck, Chuck is a Chinese word in, like I said, the descendants, Chinese descendants who lived in Cambodia so long. That they're culturally Cambodian now, but they're like descendants of Chinese where they're just like me, I'm half I'm half that. But I don't say that because ethnic ethically, like other than celebrating like New Year's and doing a lot of Ch uh, Chinese cuisine, um, I don't really have Chinese influence in my life so much. But then we do celebrate a lot of this stuff like Lunar New Year's and Chinese New Year's. We do like 
a lot of traditions. It's a very distant, distant lineage. It's like, imagine like the Swedish or the Italians who came to America like early 1800s or, or 1900s and they, even f further back, and they lived there so long that their kids, kids don't remember anything related to their ancestry kind of, kind of deal. And so, I guess it's not that far back because my, my dad still speaks Chinese and he's full, he's full Chinese, but he didn't, he doesn't speak it to me. And neither does any of my cousins from his side. But they all spoke it when they were kids. And they, my grandparents were the ones who spoke it. And they don't, they're not around for that. So, single manang. Yeah. Kon, konnichiwa. Sams, sams, samsu. Kakkoi. Oh! Harry got to go that mess. Shite. Hi. Kite. Kite agette. Kite. Agel yo. Ya, ya be, ya be, ya be. It's. They said that Samus looks cool, and it wasn't enough context that I could understand it. Once the kanji gets in there, mm -mm. we're broken, y'all. <laughs> we're broken. But um, Samasaran. Samus. Oh, this was like one of the preliminary compositions that I laid out. So I, I moved it to the area where I would like the poster to be, something like that. But I'm not sure if that's where it is now. This is kind of where it's sitting right now. Those lines are really light. Yeah. Something like that. But I think this is a great, great point to stop. Chetmanung! Chetmanung! Arigato! Arigato! You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Duh. Duh. I didn't get that far. Sad. It's very sad. <clears throat> In two hours. This is as far as I got. I failed. Ooh. Cute. Looking cute. Looking precious, you guys. You guys ever admire a drawing and just say adorable, even though like it's not. You just look at you just look at the armor, the the suit, and say that's adorable. <laughs> Sounds condescending. All right. Um, yeah, that's it. That's it, you guys. Like a newborn baby. <laughs> All right, manager. You guys, take care. I'm going to stretch. Go drink some water. It's hot. Warm. It's coming along nice, nice to go. Yeah, we'll see how far I get. I don't know, man. I had a schedule. I'm supposed to like be on like a... I'm supposed to be like done with like six drawings today. I'm still on the first one. <sighs> um. Yeah, please give me a follow on Instagram. You guys want to see any updates um, on the finished stuff. And uh, maybe I'll stream soon. Maybe s s not soon. Ah, more often. Probably not. I won't stream because I say I always. I'm gonna try, but I don't do it. I just say I won't do it. I'm not gonna stream. <laughs> this is what I finished a uh, week ago. Now three, four days ago. And Enzo was in a chat. So if you guys, check that this Japanese is bad, but I, that's May. <laughs> May uh, me atsu, that's wrong. May sats. This was me sats. I was typing it out and I didn't read it because I was looking at the keyboard. I'm like, ta -ta 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 -ta. and I was like, oh crap. I I update. I uploaded it already. So it's supposed to be sa. That's that's an ah. Uh. May atsu. What's wrong? Oh, shou yo, shou you, show you, show you, show you. 
Yeah. Oh yeah. Um. You speak English? Who? <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> why can't I see the? Why can't I see the? The comments. I'm trying to freaking see the comments. Oh. Can I see the comments? No. I was going to uh, comment, reply to Enzo, because I didn't know Enzo commented, but um, do you guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Arigato. 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 I'm still here, don't worry. We still here. Oh, shoot. Oh. So yeah, until next time, I'll catch you guys later. You guys, uh, fun? Oh, no, 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 no. I, I speak English. On, on, only a little. All right, guys, swag, swaggy swag. Ship, ship, Hey, may that's cool. Show you. Oh. Oh, show you. I messed up everything. I need more ooze. Ooh, ooh. Sorry, I need to ooh, ooh. Ah. I don't know what I'm spelling. I, 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 I'll update it. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh, shit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It is over. Good night. Good night. I gotta, I gotta drink water. I'm hot. I'm hot. Mada boom pieces.